And so people ask me, what, what, uh, what's your impression? And what have you learned about America uh, during this past 19 months? And I say, well, first of all, America's big. <laughs> um, you know, just traveling around Ohio, uh, you realize uh, how big this country is. And then when you go to all 48 states in the continental United States, and you go to Hawaii, I have to say, Alaska is the one state I haven't visited, which, now that I think about it, I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get up there. Um, but, so we're blessed with this extraordinary land. And we're blessed with extraordinary people. Because when you travel this country, whether it's in the cities or the suburbs or rural communities, north, south, east, west, it doesn't matter. What you find is the American people, they are decent and they are generous and they work hard and they are self-reliant and they are willing to sacrifice for the next generation. You've got to work hard. The belief in family, the belief in community, the belief in this country and, and its promise. The belief that if you're willing to roll up your sleeves, if you're willing to put your shoulder to the wheel, that not only can you live out your dream, but you can pass that dream on to your children. That they can go as far as their drive and their imagination will take them. We're going to change our health care system so that every single American has basic care. If you've already got health care, we're going to work with your employers to lower your premiums. If you don't have health care, we're going to make sure that you've got the same kind of health care that Joe Biden and I get as members of Congress. You pay our salaries. You, the taxpayers, pay our salaries. We should have better health care than you do. And we're going to emphasize prevention, regular checkups, regular screenings, so that people aren't going to the emergency room. And we actually improve quality and save costs. And we're not going to wait 20 years from now to do it or 10 years. We're going to do it by the end of my first term as President of the United States of America. make a bargain with young Americans. If you put the work in, graduate from high school, are ready to go to a two-year college or a four-year college, you participate in some community service or national service, join the military, join the Peace Corps, work in a veteran's home, you do some form of community service and we're going to make sure that you get the money that you need to go to college. You invest in America, we'll invest in you. Together we're going to march this country forward. So we, we just kept on building each and every day, but, but nothing made me feel better than knowing that the remainder of this journey, I'm going to be accompanied by a, a man who everyone acknowledges has extraordinary foreign policy credentials. Everybody acknowledges that has done outstanding work on the Judiciary Committee, passing the Violence Against Women's Act, passing the Crime Bill in 1994. Hey, everybody knows his, his policy chops. But what makes me really feel good is the fact that here's a guy who never forgot where he came from. Who takes the train back every day to see his family. Somebody who in his heart knows that he's here only because somebody gave him a chance and who wants to give that same chance to every American. I'm proud to have somebody who I believe is going to be one of the greatest vice presidents in the history of the United States, Joe Biden, on my side.